Popper Poker's blind girl is a symbol of the human race, worthy of an Oscar and is what we should show the aliens when they inevitably ask us what our deal is. Blindy is a small blind French girl with a dog, loved by Poker's community and no one else. Ever. As it should be. There are many things that come to mind when talking about Blindy, some great and some not so great, the totally normal ones being, cinnamon rolls, Frenchness and Blondie. Everyone loves a cinnamon roll right? Why eh no, the sweet doughy pastry commonly served on earth originally from Sweden. It has about a million different names. Zimtschnick. In essence it's that one thing with cinnamon in it. Wikipedia says it's also known as a cinnamon Danish, although I don't think a Danish person coated with cinnamon would taste good. In media a cinnamon roll is a character that's all innocent, sweet and too good for this world. Blindy is a great example of a cinnamon roll. She's all the aspects needed and she gets absolutely dunked on BY everything. Blindy's life absolutely sucks, and Poker's audience loves it. Almost every piece of art she's in that Poker makes she is suffering or being bullied. Her very existence is torture to her, even her key characteristics are torturous, being blind and French. Often the reason she is bullied is because of her blindness because of course it is, and for her gullibleness allowing other characters to exploit her, most commonly for entertainment. She gets especially bullied in the comics due to the comics having some sort of small standalone story to them, often with her being blind being the punchline. It is in these comics that we most often see how the Popper Pokerverse reacts to her and her actions which is often very nasty. Blind girl is almost always shown as optimistic and she seems to try and be happy whenever possible, even if her very existence is suffering. Papa Poker can get away with the constant torture of Blindy because she's just some random character and not part of an actual plot. His usual way of torture is emotional abuse, commonly done through the masterpiece of character design called Blondie. Blondie is a blonde German. That's all I need to say. Blondie is constantly shown to be a good caring person who looks after the disabled, i.e. Blindie. Some other recurring characters are Blindie's parents, who fight all the time and yell at her. Blindie's dog, who knows how to use a computer and can talk for some reason. The baguette cat? There's a whole thing with Blindie, Blondie and the dog, specifically in the comic where Blindie is in the hospital and Blondie is looking after the dog which she tries to exploit and trick so the dog tells her fuck you. Oh also Blindy and Blondie may or may not be Lebanese, Greek poets, and American. It's a mess. Another thing I'd like to talk about is Papa Poker's art style, it's anime-ish while having a soft kind of feel to it, often with 3D modeled scenes but 2D characters. It's pretty cool. He always puts in a lot of detail into his art, sometimes as little Easter eggs, sometimes for the aesthetic and sometimes as small consistent details. For example, Blindy's mismatched socks and badly buttoned shirt. Before you go off looking at his art I'll warn you of two things. His French, and it's an R18 account, link in the description. Anyway he's also made some 3D models of Blindy and Blondie which you can use for shenanigans or also on VR chat. His community is very odd. They mostly seem to follow him for the Blindy and Blondie stuff, Half of the people wishing Blindy would get a better life, the other half wishing her pain. Poker does commissions and he has one hell of a business model, his community literally pays him to draw Blindy, often with their OCs being kind to her, making her happy. We also know that the Popper Pokerverse is somewhat affected by the real world as in a few artworks we see Blondy reacting to comments and data about artwork of her or including her in it. Anna Kang made a good video two years ago about Blind Girl. I recommend checking it out. Anyway the dog is magical and the baguette cat is God. <laughs>